I am ready. Yep. Garage Band in three, two, one, a podcast. Anybody got a toothpick? Oh, Hit yeah. Me. Hit me. Ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen. This is this is uh, Big Coast of Toby out in San Diego, California. <laughs> and for my very, very sexy beer this evening, <laughs> I am trying a new beer. That's right. This is a uh, Shady Oak Barrel House. They're from Santa Rosa, California. Their website is shadyoakbarrelhouse.com and the beer I am trying <clears throat> and the beer I am trying is <gasps> Groovalistic. Nice. Because nothing says solid gold hits like Groovalistic. Yeah, yeah. This is a heavily uh, late kettle hopped Belgian Heavy. style farmhouse ale brewed with Britannomyces. Uh, the hops are mosaic. Did you say heavy? <laughs> I said heavy. Oh, it's heavy. Is there something wrong with the Earth's gravitational pull? Uh, it's, it's, uh, late, late kettle editions of Mosaic, and then it's dry hopped. Uh, and then it receives a dose of Britannomyces. See, now you could have said that, sexy. You, you totally <laughs> missed your window there. I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say it again. Come I on. say it, sexy. Let, Do it again. Do the sentence with receives in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get uh, up on the lead, mic. Yeah, he leans down low. I was going to caress the mic. No, okay. Oh, you, you guys got the picture. Being close. You get, yeah, you got you got the picture. Let me, let me grab my little luchador here. <laughs> Come here, little luchador. Watch this bottle little receive little that luchador. In the headlock. I don't care what you call it. Put it back in your pants. <clears throat> Which way are you going here, buddy? He won't reach. <laughs> it's not gonna work on this one. That's weird. All right, I'm going. I'm going with the classic. This guy. Oh, nice! Ah. I got. I got mine too. Ah. <clears throat> All right. And the label on this beer is fantastic. I mean, it's got like. What it's got? got this dude who looks like, like, the 1970s Herbie Hancock. Leaning, he's he's laying on a pillow. Of, if Herbie of, Hancock played a saxophone. It looked like Herbie Hancock. Right, right. He's got, right. <laughs> he's laying with on like a cloud. A, like with like makeup on his face, right? Like yeah, he's got like some. I don't know. Like an M and a racing stripe, or yeah, some, it's some like, tribal, almost like some like tribal yeah. battle makeup face paint. <laughs> Awesome. And he's got the sacks on his lap and the beaded necklace and the funky pants and no shirt. He's laying on a cloud of pillow, a pillow of clouds and sun rays behind him. Funky, funky it's, pants. It's groovalistic, baby. Wow, this is light. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> it's like champagne. That's lighter than an Anisa Bush product. I, it's <clears throat> it's seriously. That's it's like. It's like super light champagne color. That is wow. crazy. I thought, this, I thought this was a phallic gold episode. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Not hey. clear as crystal. Hey, we're, we're drinking champagne up in here. There's nothing nothing wrong with a little champagne. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you I mean, lost, it's... the boy. You lost. You need to be on the bubbly show. We need some gold. solid gold, like 24 carats. Like death, baby, right here. I got a, a sustaining head, but it's just a film. And it's very clear, like super, super clear. And not, I had, yeah, it's a few bubbles coming up in there. But man, that is clear and light in color. Super light in color. Wow. 
All right, on the nose. Ooh. Smells like glass. <laughs> this beer it, has. It absolutely even has no smell. It even has a champagne-y kind of nose. There's a like a grapey, like a white grape. Wow, yeah, it's 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 grape. it almost smells like a um like a Sauvignon Blanc or like a, a Chardonnay or something like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's seriously. Are you sure you got a beer for this show? This is beer coasters, buddy. It's, it seriously smells like white wine. That's amazing. And it smells like a good white wine. It even has like kind of like a buttery, uh, citrus nose. And there's something else in there. There's like a doughy, a little bit of a doughy something in the background. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, it, it seriously, if, if I was blind tasting and I held this up to my nose, I'd be like, hmm, this smells like a nice white wine. <laughs> With some sort of doughy something in there. All right. Effervescent doughiness. Taking it, taking it, see it. Mm. A little doughy in the behind. <laughs> That's my favorite kind. <laughs> Oh, it, I think it went right up his nose. <laughs> Almost. I had to hold back on that one. Oh, man, this is funky. Hey. Hey. Funky. Hit me. Oh, man. Like a slap. Watch yourself. Slap bass, funky. <clears throat> yeah, there's... Slapping the bass. <laughs> There's, it kind of has a little bit of that band uh -oh. and um, yeah, like band aid and that's not good. Well, I mean, with the with the Brett and the all that kind of stuff, it's it's kind of expected, but it's not really too bad. I mean, it's funky. It's got this like. Strange funk happening. It's like those off flavors, you know. This one tastes like the cow got into an onion patch. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> what is that? Yeah, it's very, this is very reminiscent of some vinyl, you know, like a, like a 12 inch. Uh, that's Whoa. what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting on the tongue is, 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 is a little bit of. A vinyl. You, you were just getting 12 inches on the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about LP, baby. I'm talking about, I'm talking no, about 1977. Keep, talk, keep talking, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm talking about 1977 uh, 12 inch vinyl LP. Solid gold hit <laughs> on the tongue. Mm. No, but it has kind of like a plasticky, band aidy. Um, Hmm. And then there's a little bit of uh, some kind of uh, like grassy uh, – it's – you're, you're not selling it well. Vinyl. I would, you had me in the dough in the behind. <laughs> I've got to continue. The dough would be hard. <laughs> I mean, now it's starting to get even lighter. I mean, there's even less of that doughiness. And the doughiness really only shows up in the aftertaste, uh, just slightly. But it's mostly this, um, <clears throat> like, band aid plasticky, uh, almost like a... What do you call it? Zest. A little bit of a, of a, like a, a lemon zest or something in there. And a, a grassy something. It's it's very... Um, mm. I mean, I don't, I don't want to say like springtime reminiscent, but it, it definitely has... Well, I, I mean, if, 
if lemony band-aids remind you of springtime, then then go ahead. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reach on. And it's not it's not sour, it's not really tart, you know, like what you would get out of a of a, a Brett type beer. It's not it doesn't really have that. It's it just more it has more of the of the the other stuff that you get from a brett type beer less of the like fruity sour tartness and more of the band-aidy medicinal type stuff um so maybe maybe the 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 process that they used in in adding it to the beer and the timing was maybe off but i don't know i mean it's 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 not bad it's not a horrible beer um, but as far as far as a food pairing goes, I kind of want to I want to stick with obviously lighter foods, but uh, maybe even like a uh, like maybe carnitas, like carnitas tacos or something like that. Um, okay. <clears throat> so so like light Mexican food, nothing too spicy, nothing too bold and rich, but just like you know, like like a light carnitas taco. And, Maybe a little bit of spice in there, but yeah, some some vegetables, you know, garden <clears throat> salad, maybe. I'll just have the salad. Maybe some cheeses. I mean, uh, it might go well with with some lighter type cheeses because this. Some I mean, maybe. It's very light. It's not. It's it doesn't. <sighs> Well, one of the users on Untapped said, "Sulfur wet blanket lemon rind." Hmm. hmm. That wasn't a very positive review. Lemon rind. Right. <laughs> hmm. Speaking of Untapped. Yeah, go ahead and hit me with some Untapped. Untapped. Untapped comes in at uh, three point four out of one hundred and twelve ratings. Three point four. Wow. Um, popular locations to drink this beer. Uh, there is one, and that is the Brew. It's coffee bar. It's coffee and beer at the Santa in Santa Rosa, California. I get two others. No. No, oh, I don't. I only you see can one. Rattle Pint, them off. The Pint Size Lounge in San Rafael, California, and Jupiter in Berkeley, California. Jupiter. <clears throat> All right. Cool, cool, cool. Oh man, that really means this beer is just out of sight, man. This this beer is it's far out. out. This world. Well, you, beer is... you do remember the description? I mean, <laughs> Jupiter makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Check out the website if uh, the listeners are confused. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, there you go. That is the uh, Groovalistic from Shady Oak Barrel House in Santa Rosa, California, right up there with our good friends, uh, Firestone Waka. 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 Firestone uh, Waka. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, man. Uh, I, I, I'm looking forward to trying some other stuff from these guys. Uh, but anyway... There you go. It's a uh, it's Grubalistic and it's a solid gold hit show. And up next, we got somebody else who's gonna try something that do. I do declare. I do <clears> declare <throat> that it's my turn. Far out. <laughs> All right, Tony Leone is coming up next. I'm ready. And we'll be back right after the. I'm uh, all limbo and ready to the, go. Uh, the the myth the myth of Yeah. Yeah.